Hey y'all, uh, this video I'm going to talk about installing a uh, Android OS emulator. Um, it's called Jenny Motion, which is uh, I believe by Google. And you have to create an account to uh, download uh, any kind of uh, virtual software. Um, you just do that on JennyMotion.com. So I'm going to go through the steps of installing this in Arch Linux. And uh, it's not too hard. And so I've made some notes here, which I'll, I'll upload and provide a link for. So this is a new install of Arch Linux, fairly new install, and it's running um, XFCE4 desktop. So on the top left here, I have uh, you have to install VirtualBox and uh, scan for dependency modules and the driver and add yourself as the VBox to the VBox users group. Well, I'll just copy and paste these just to make it easy -er. and so we'll just uh, I'll zoom in here and you see it has the host modules and virtual box and it's going to download 16 megabytes and approximately 80 megabytes when it's uh, finished downloading and installing and it should give you instructions at the end of what to do uh, which are in the notes I have okay so the first thing we want to do is do this command sudo dep, depmod-a dependency modules I'll paste that in here at the bottom press enter we should be okay and then sudo mod probe vbox drv and I press tab there so it picked it up and we should add that to our startup entry in our module so you can use anything, LeafPad, Nano, I'll use Nano, Nano, first of all we make sure it's sudo nano etsy modules load dash d, load, modules dash load dot d and uh, virtual box dot c o n f and all you do is just type in v box d r v and control O to write that out press enter and control X to quit and that's it and uh, we'll add ourselves and if you put the percent time percent user dollar sign user sorry the string it should pick up your name and what you just did okay so that's virtual box um, as it is basic setup installed now on to the next step, we have to get it through the uh, Arch Linux user repository. Either you can search for the two programs or and then compile them yourself or just configure a system for Yaoart, um, which there's several videos on YouTube about that and I also have that uh, videos on that as well. So I'm going to get it through Yaoart and I'm not sure if you really need this but I'm going to get them anyway because it's handy to use uh, USB drives and so on in VirtualBox, so I'm going to paste that in, Yaoart VirtualBox Extensions Oracle, press enter, and there's only one, so just press one on your keyboard and press enter, and I've installed these before, if you wish to edit them, you can open it with a text editor, and I'm just going to select no here, and no to edit the install, and just continue downloading and uh, building extension pack. And that's it. It's integrated already into VirtualBox. You don't have to worry about opening VirtualBox and installing it or anything. It just does it for you. And that's it. Enter, enter, and we're done. All right, so let's move on to installing Jenny Motion from the Arch Linux user repository. I'll just paste that in. Okay, press enter, and just one entry again so you just press one same thing edit if you wish and continue downloading and maybe some compiling or maybe not okay and it gives you the instructions right here in the uh, terminal to have these modules loaded there's four of them and you can simply add them to your VirtualBox config file or, or as a super user just uh, use this echo so first of all let's try this out uh, we'll mod probe these four modules drivers here so I'll copy and paste that in I'll clear the screen and paste and 
Great. Okay. So if it doesn't come back, that means everything is happy. <laughs> so I'm going to go to S super user and just take this line and uh, let me go back up a bit and show you. Take the echo this from here to here, copy and paste that in and press enter. And uh, you can uh, get an idea of what that looks like. Just CAT uh, at uh, slash Etsy modules dash load dot D virtual box dot com. And there you see it's that's what it's in that file. OK, so you can uh, pretty much exit uh, the uh, super user and continue on. All right, so now it's time to uh, get the uh, DKMS modules through Pac-Man. And so it's a pseudo Pac-Man, capital S, dash capital S, virtual box, dust, dash host, not guest, dash DKMS. So again, copy and paste that in and press enter. We should get the Linux headers too, just in case. So I'll just... Uh, Dash capital S, control shift V, Linux headers, and install those. If you notice here, uh, to build and install your modules, run this. And it, it, it'll pick up the virtual box, box version that you have installed. So just copy that and run that as super user or sudo actually. Sudo, and I'll paste that in. And this might take a while. All right, so that was, uh, wasn't too bad, fairly painless. And it says DKMS install complete. Now I should add the system service. So sudo system control enable DKMS dot service if you wish. And I'll just paste that in, press enter. And now it's been created. So that should do it for the terminal, hopefully. So I'll just close the terminal. And uh, we should be able to run Jenny Motion through whatever you have for a start menu. Not sure where it is, and there we go. And it's going to ask you the first time, do you want to add any virtual device yet? And select yes, and you have to sign in. Okay, so I'll sign in, like I said in the beginning. And there's the uh, your uh, wireless trying to connect through the uh, virtual box network adapter. Okay, so anyway, I'm going to sign in, and then we'll continue. Uh, so here we are at the uh, virtual device creation wizard. So I guess we want uh, some kind of Google Nexus uh, and uh, screen size like 800 by 1280. So whatever you decide on, uh, you'll know better than me definitely on this one. Uh, so I'm just going to select one, click next, and it gives you an idea. Uh, number of CPUs, disk capacity and stuff. You can change this name, but it's going to leave it as it is and pl click next. And it's going to download uh, 188 megabytes. So after a brief uh, time of uh, downloading and uh, setting it up, uh, just click finish. And what I do just to check, go to settings, virtual box, browse, and select what you just downloaded. Make sure that's in the path because uh, last time it, it didn't run if I didn't choose where the uh, device was. So click choose, press OK, and any other stuff you want to do it should be fine. So you press the start and starting virtual device. And there we go. There's an Android Nexus, goes to Google Nexus uh, 7, whatever. <laughs> you have to forgive me. I don't know uh, much about uh, tablets or cell phones or anything. Uh, they're too small for me. <laughs> but it's uh, interesting technology. So I guess this would be your app menu, and I have no idea. But the purpose of the video was uh, to get it up and running under Arch Linux, and uh, that should do it, I think. Um, one more thing I want to mention is I'm not really sure, but the Arch Linux uh, wiki said VirtualBox updates to run as root uh, VBox reload. Hopefully, if uh, your VirtualBox gets updated and just running this, uh, this uh, will still work for you. Okay, so that should do it for this one. And uh, thank you so much for watching. And we'll talk to you soon. 
and bye for now.